Hey guys, this is Zero, the main texture artist at Halo or for Halo Homefront mod for Homeworld 2. I am also filling in as a part-time coder since uh, Alia has had issues come up in real life, and she has taken an extended hiatus from the mod. Uh, we hope she is doing better, and she will come back to us soon, as we all miss her. Um, so the first thing you guys will probably notice is that the background music has changed again. Um, the reason why it has changed is because the original background music that we had, that Halo theme, um, was against the game content usage rules set out by Microsoft. So, uh, this is just an ambience placeholder real quick. Uh, be so, <coughs> for, um, in the meantime, uh, before I get the, um, actual main menu theme from the guy who uploaded it on our mod page. Uh, the background hasn't changed at all. Uh, one thing I want to implement in the future though is uh, that have different backgrounds for the tabs because as you can see this is just overlaid over the main menu if you haven't already noticed and it leaves the whole beta thing here which isn't all that interesting. Um, so we're going to jump into skirmish real quick. Um, if you noticed, uh, I've added new badges, uh, a whole bunch, actually. That's, uh, 13 right there. And they all have this weathered effect, like it's paint chips. Um, I wasn't really sure if I really wanted to go this way or not, but I implemented them anyways. Uh, you guys can add in the comments section or whatever, uh, if you guys, you know, like it if it was like solid around here with no paint chips or if you guys actually like it with the paint chips um, anyways I'm just, I'm gonna go with the halo home front watermark just because and I you know I added custom badges for two reasons one uh, it, it makes you um, it personalizes your character when you're going up against other people you know if you have an emblem or colors or whatever, you know, it, it just personalizes your character. Uh, second reason, um, you know, the shader people, uh, up until now, they've had all the benefits. And so, uh, in the non-shader version, people will have badges on their ships. You know, I don't want to leave the non-shader people out, and so I want to give them those stock uh, features. However, uh, while team colors are planned for non-shaders, team colors and stripe colors, is very far down the road. And the reason why this is, is because up until now, I've been designing ships for the non-shader version, which means that none of the ships have alpha channels for team colors and anything like that. And I, do I just haven't had the time to go back and add in those alpha channels and they're a lot harder than you think uh, with the uh, diffuse maps I've made so you know it's planned it's planned but it's it's gonna be down the road a while anyways we're gonna load up a game here on the stock earth map uh, 10,000 resources all research done in slip space on um, so we're just gonna load this up real quick Okay, uh, first thing you'll notice is that the gantry and anchor 12 are both present, and that uh, the cruisers spawned on the same dock path. Um, this will never happen, this is a one time thing. Uh, basically what happened was that I edited some script files to make it so both uh, cruisers spawn at the beginning of the game. Uh, obviously the gantry is designed to only hold one ship in its berth, and it builds one ship at a time, so you'll never ever see that glitch ever. Um, another thing I want to point out is that the gantry, both gantry and anchor 12 do not have nav lights. Um, I'm not really quite sure why this happens, but um, it's only spawn ships. Because as you can see, the ships that were built definitely have lights on them. So let me get these miners moving. Uh, someone also asked on the mod page um, if the center rotated. 
said they do, but I just wanted to give a clear picture that yes, they do rotate. And they also have uh, distinct engine glows. Uh, they're the same color as the fighters, you know, that orange color with the almost uh, pale white center. Um, and then I've also been fiddling around with ship icons. Um, so the ha Marathon actually has this like kind of like sci-fi blue blueprint as opposed to the Halcyon and every other ship where they're colored here. Um, I'm still not quite sure which one I like more, so I was going to let you guys decide, you know. You guys can go ahead and vote in the video comments which one you like better. Uh, it doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, let's look at these uh, animations real quick. So basically the drill comes out of the body and then goes into the rock face. I think this one's all, oh, it's almost done. And then it just retracts. The same way it went in. It goes back and docks. Um, and then with the marathon, yes, here it is finally. Um, the way we balanced it with the Halcyon is it's a heavy cruiser and we want it to be a hard hitter. Obviously, it's going to have less armor than the Halcyon because the Halcyon, in canon wise, is built a lot denser. So it's going to take a lot more pa or punches. It's gonna it's gonna endure a lot more pain at the cost of, however, a lower damage per second output. Whereas the marathon has significantly more damage but less armor. Uh, these values are also subject to change as we are uh, currently in in the works of tweaking uh, actual damage weapon damage values. So that's uh, going to be something that you'll see change. Um, another thing that I added to uh, cruisers, not just the marathon in general, but I want to you know, personalize every ship just a little bit, and that includes um, adding you know, animations and stuff, and one of the animations I added for the uh, Halcyon and Marathon is uh, opening and closing hangar bay doors. And the reasoning behind this is, well, I mean, what kind of idiot ship captain would go into battle with an exposed hangar, you know, that's just a structural integrity weakness. So I think that really adds depth to the ships overall. Go ahead and open up, and both hangars are very illuminated and have lights, blinking lights, you know. Uh, the Marathon also has its auxiliary hangar bays that are just for show. I haven't uh, added any dock paths to them, nothing really fits in there. Um, they were currently going to be used for drones and possible transport ships like Pelicans, if that stuff is ever implemented, but uh, so far drones just dock through the regular fighter dock. You know, no big deal. Um, you know, both ships have uh, animated lights, all that good stuff. And the engine glows haven't changed at all. They still look good. Uh, what you guys were really looking forward to was Rex, which I had posted a picture of earlier. Um, and they're going to be exclu exclusive to uh, cruisers at the moment. I haven't really gotten around to making wrecks for these stations, and if I do, it'll only be like Anchor 12 and the Gantry, most likely. Um, wrecks will also probably be for frigates, but that's depending on whether or not these create lag. And with my testing so far, they have not, but I'm still a little bit skeptical, and until we get this build out there for the people to play, it's still going to be a maybe. So let me just detonate these guys. Uh, the effects still need to be tweaked a little bit because as you can see right there on the Halcyon, or not the Halcyon, but the Marathon, that um, it was just a little bit too big for the hole. Um, and I apologize, I was zoomed in a little bit, but there's these uh, contrails, engine nozzle jet type things that expand out from the center during the giant last explosion which uh, simulates disintegrating the middle of the ship and uh, exploding both ends out. As you can see in the Halcyon's case it was a little bit at an angle. These are also placeholders as 
you can tell, um, you know, obviously the Halcyon's supposed to have a hexagon superstructure, but for the sake of time, I just threw these together. You know, it's subject to change, you know. They're supposed to have a little bit more damage, you know, they, they look new, it's just that they're cut in half, essentially, which is, you know, not the idea. And you know, obviously, Corvettes and fighters will not be the wrecks, because as you can see, the explosion encompasses the entire ship, and they're quite small. Um, the last subject I want to touch up on is, a lot of you guys were complaining about the music and how it was skipping halfway through playing. Well, you guys will be happy to know that we've added an actual music player to the Humboldt 2, courtesy of the Humboldt Free Mod. Um, if you're not familiar with them, you press this uh, round button, and it loads up the playlist. Uh, currently, there's 11 songs in the playlist, and they're all made by Cass, our uh, music creator. And um, as you can see, there's skip forward, skip back, and stop buttons. So, you know, it's not that you don't have anything against cast, but you don't, you particularly like a song better than the other, or you don't like a song as much as one, you can just skip it. Um, there's also a repeat button, which will come in about 8 seconds. Demonstrate that real quick. So it's going to keep repeating. And then there's also a random. So you can just skip through here. And every time you start a song, it will fade out the old one and start the new one. So there's an actual linear transition instead of cutting one out. Currently, the menu is mapped to the end key, which is mines. So right now, I'm trying to find a button that doesn't coincide with one of these abilities or any other ability that opens up the game, and I've lost my manual, so I don't have a very good reference for finding the buttons as of now. Um, just a quick note that Rex do have a tumble effect. They'll never meet each other, but they'll just tumble around aimlessly in space. Anyways guys, that's it for now. Uh, hopefully that will give you guys something to look forward to. Um, currently these wrecks cannot be captured, so they'll disappear after a while like normal wrecks. Um, currently right now, mod status, all we have left to do is uh, finish the Talos. Oh, on my end anyways. Finish the Talos, get that in game, and then work on a couple of just game changing tweaks really and that's pretty much it until we get this build out to you guys so not too much longer it's all really depending on me um, you guys will see a lot of weapon changes that type of stuff anyways thanks for watching guys